what is going on guys welcome back to a new video so a few months ago i made this video and i showed you guys that you can in fact use a car subwoofer with a sony home theater system but this video kind of got a lot of comments that i did not use a ported box and that the box was too small so guess what i borrowed a base tube and yeah this one does have a port on its back so I want to point out something that the previous video got a lot of racist, homophobic and hate comments from some irrelevant idiots and trolls and I have a zero tolerance policy towards such comments and if you do happen to leave such a comment you will be banned instantly. Alright with this little thing clarified let's go ahead and start the video. And look at the size of the base tube compared to the original sub. I mean that thing is twice the length of the uh, original subwoofer and even the thickness of the base tube is slightly more oh yeah the base tube is definitely wider than that stock sony home theater system subwoofer and you know what the bigger the better and by the way guys this base tube belongs to the same guy who bought this subwoofer off me so a huge shout out to him i just saw this base tube in his car and i asked him if i could borrow it for a video and he kind of agreed and I also want to address a few questions uh, that I got in my previous video and regarding that subwoofer so let me just take it out you know what guys I can't help laugh at the size of this box I mean look at this thing this thing is so freaking shallow I mean it's, just, it's the size of my hand and I think you can fit four of these in a row three or four of these if you want to match the length of this thing yeah this thing is small and I don't have a problem with it being small because I have to fit this subwoofer in that little space. So that is actually substituting this thing so I can't have a bigger subwoofer there. A lot of people were saying that this box is way too small and I agree this box is small. So that's my problem. I have to fit the box over there and I cannot have a bigger box. I mean I can buy one of these. And yeah it's not gonna fit over there and there's a door behind that. So yeah, be freaking considerate before you comment because there's a reason why I picked this box. I mean, I did have the option of picking one of these. But yeah, I picked this box because of its size. I want a smaller box. It sounds good. It's able to shake the crown. And yeah, neighbors do complain whenever I crank up the volume. And here is the back side of the base tube. Look at the size of that port. It's as big as my hand. So the model of this base tube is XS GTX 121LT and this is unfortunately a discontinued model so I'm not gonna buy a new base tube just to do a video but anyways the recent base tubes are also pretty much like this and will sound like this so I'll put a link to the newer Sony base tube but anyway this one is rated at 300 watts RMS at 4 ohms and this is our home theater sub uh, this one is actually 280 watts rms and this one is rated at 1.5 ohms and guys ideally what you want to do is match the impedance of your subwoofer with your home theater receiver in this case it's mismatched because that's a 4 ohm sub and the home theater subwoofer was 1.5 ohms so we know that the home theater's rating is 1.5 ohms anyway what i should have done is i should have gone with a 3 ohm dual voice coil 300 watt sub uh, that way we could have gotten the maximum power from the home theater systems but yeah if you do it on your own system do make sure that you match the impedance and the wattage rating and guys as an alternate solution what i can do is buy another one of these and hook it up in parallel that way the impedance dropped to 2 ohms and I can use two subwoofers with a single home theater system. Hmm, I think that will be awesome but again I don't have space for another one and this one barely fits in that little space over there. So uh, two subwoofers is out of the question. One is perfectly fine. Yeah this thing shakes the ground and everything so I'm not gonna get another one. So yeah just so you know don't make a rookie mistake like I did. Now to power up the base tube, I will be using this Sony home theater system amp and by the way this is a class D amp, it's rated at 1000 watts RMS and it supplies 280 watts RMS to the subwoofer channel. And to those people who keep on whining and crying about how the amp will get hot and it will get damaged if I use a car subwoofer, <laughs> I pity on you guys. First off, do your freaking, oh that thunder, I shouldn't get angry. But anyway, I suggest that you do your own research before you comment. Go study Ohm's law and learn how impedance works on amps and speakers. Freaking noobs everywhere, man. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this comment. Home theater are tube-based amplifiers and car amplifiers are AB type. Your video is fake. Holy crap, guys. Where do these guys get their information from? You know what? All right, all right. 
Okay, so do me a favor. If you're one of those people who constantly complain about Sony and hate them, close this video right now and write an email to Sony and tell them about your 10,000 watt system and your daddy issues, okay? And if you think Sony lies about the wattage rating, call your lawyer and feel free to sue Sony for lying on their audio products. Now, in short, if you connect a higher impedance sub with your lower impedance amp, nothing's going to happen. Worst comes to worst, you'll lose some power and the speaker won't perform at optimal power. But if you connect a lower impedance sub with a higher impedance rated amp, that's going to burn down your amp. So in this case, nothing's going to happen because the subwoofer impedance is 4 ohms and this thing is rated at 1.5 ohms. But yeah, we will have some power loss in between. Alright guys, let's play some tunes. Now this might not be an ideal location, but it's just temporary. So just going to keep the subwoofer there. And all of these songs that I'm going to play are from No Copyright Sounds. All the links are down in the video description. But the first one, you've heard this song before on my channel. It's I Remember You by Cartoon. And I'm going to play it in the Windows Media Player. And again, a lot of you guys ask how, I, how this home theater is connected to the computer. It's connected through digital audio. So let me just take out the cable. So I'm using this uh, Amazon Basics. Uh, digital audio cable yeah this thing transfers the audio signal uh, from the computer and here's my computer it's got a creative sound blaster x5 titanium so that's the sound card i'm using and it's directly connected to the home theater system all right so let's go and play <laughs> It's just ice cold right now. Uh, and this thing, man, this thing just shakes the entire ground. You can actually feel the air moving. That did not used to happen with that thing. So this thing is louder, it punches harder. 
so yeah i think yeah base tube is a great option I mean, this thing is just insane so let's play some more songs We've got more songs lined up so i played back the recorded video and unfortunately the camera's mic seems to be having troubles recording that heavy bass hmm so what i've done is i've turned down the gain on the camera so let's see how this next song sounds like so this one is again from ncs tobu return to the wild ncs released so let's go and hopefully fingers crossed it will sound better and by the way guys uh, in real life there's no change in the sound bass is perfect it's heavy and nice it's just the camera's mic which is not able to pick up the uh, bass properly so that's why it kind of distorts on camera's mic anyway let's go I'm digging this subwoofer and I really want to buy this but yeah I already ha already have one subwoofer so yep still ice cold it's not even warm yep still cold and there's a fan at the back uh, that seems to be spinning at a very low rpm just slightly warm air coming off so I reviewed the footage once again and unfortunately the camera's mic is distorting the sound now I thought of another thing, I thought of wiring these two up in parallel. You can do it because both of these are 4 ohms and if you wire these up in parallel it comes down to 2 ohms. And this thing is rated at 1.5 ohms. So it will be able to drive both of these subwoofers without any problem. But the thing is I have run out of speaker wire. And the guy will come to pick this up in the evening. So unfortunately you don't have any speaker wire on hand. Man, I really, really wanted to do this, but anyways, let's go ahead and play the next song. For the next song, we have So Funky by Nevero, again, from No Copyright Sounds. Let's go.
I think there is a thunderstorm going on outside so really shouldn't be using the computer and playing this but from what I can tell this home theater has an easier time running this subwoofer and there is a ton of bass with this thing I mean you can just literally sit here and like everything vibrates these chairs the ground if you want a ton of bass get this thing and this thing is still running underpowered and you can only imagine what will happen if you run this thing with a proper 4 ohm and uh, 300 watt amp. Alright guys, so this will be the last song for the day. This one is called Animal. So let's go ahead and play this. Yeah, this song literally just shakes the entire area. Okay, so once more. And yeah, this thing is still stone cold, nothing to worry about. Gonna play this song once more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that neighbor of mine is gonna complain today. Uh, played too much songs at high volume. Alright guys, so this is the Sony Bass Tube with the Sony Home Theater System. And if you don't know, the model is DAV DZ390K. And yes, after playing all those songs, this thing is still ice cold. Yeah, it's not even warm. It's slightly warm from the power supply area. So th this one has a power supply over here. That has a fan. But yeah, overall the home theater is ice cold, so I really don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, not even warm. So yeah, so this is the Sony home theater uh, with the Sony car base tube. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video and do stay tuned for more videos like this and I will see you guys next time.